Look what we got here. We got the Ram 1500 Hemi E Torque Crew Cab. Let's see what we talking about, man. Let's get a quick little car review on this bad boy, or should I say a truck review? Let's review this bad boy and see why it's worth what it's worth. Let's Good, go. Baby, let's get to the front. I definitely like the front of this bad boy. I like the I like it that they didn't put no chrome on it. I like that it's black in the front, man. But they could have the Ram sign right there. They could at least like put outline that in like blue. Since the car is blue, they could have outlined it in blue, and that would have looked better because you can't even really see the Ram. You can see the Ram sign, but you really can't see the Ram sign. It's got the nice little camera right there. Nice little camera on it right there like that so you can see what's going on in the front. I like the bottom uh, grilly bumper, but I don't like that. One thing I don't like, let's zoom in on it real quick. That is not open air, so that's not open arrow, and I'm not feeling that. I'm definitely not feeling that. I'm going to give it a a fart that's gonna be a fart because why would you have the uh upper grill open as you can see the upper grill is open but you wouldn't have the bottom grill open you know what i mean like the little black toe toe hook toe strap hooks i'm pretty sure those are not gonna age well if you if you chip those a little bit they definitely gonna probably rust and that's not gonna be a good thing but it's still as long as you take care of it they're gonna look good but if once you start neglecting them they probably gonna be rusty dusty i guarantee you that I like they got the little fog lights at the bottom looking real good those are probably, those are definitely led fog lights speaking of lights we're gonna have the nice little ram lights as you know ram got some of the best lights in the game period some of the best lights in the game looking real good got the little says ram right there if you look real closely it says ram i just get you a little gemstone you welcome looking real good the lights looking real good everything's looking real good in the front i definitely like the hood how it's vented it's real cool you know what i'm saying it's really only it's a Hemi E Torque. It's only it ain't got. I think it's got like 385 horses, 390 horses, something like that. But uh, still look good. The grill still look good. The, uh, the bumper look. I said the bumper. The hood still looks good. The hood actually looks great. It looks better than most trucks. It looks better than a Chevy truck hood. Definitely looks better than a Toyota hood, and it definitely looks better than most hoods. So let's work our way to the side of this bag. Ooh, the side looking good. Look at the side looking good. Those wheels right there. Let's look at these wheels before we get to anywhere. These wheels are fire. I'm talking about, if you don't know what fire means, these wheels are cool is what I'm saying. Definitely cool wheel. It's got like a uh, granite color uh, wheel, like a gray, glossy gray, like granite. It's got a lot of little flakes in it, as you can see. It's got a lot of little flakes in it, going good with that color. It's going to be on a 285 with a 45 sidewall. This is a 22-inch wheel. Yes, I said 22 inch wheel that's crazy coming on a stock truck i remember back in my day you couldn't find nothing, what nothing coming on a 22 inch wheel it probably was coming on 15 inch wheels now look at it the times have changed they keeping up with the uh they keeping up with the times and 22 inch wheels look real good on that 285 tire that's like you ain't even got to go buy no aftermarket wheel they gave you a nice little cool wheel but i'm pretty sure you paid some extra money for that Definitely nice. I got, got, the, got the nice little fender flare sticking out on the side. Try to make it look a little good. It ain't wide body, but it's cool though. You know what I mean? Got the nice little ram sign at the bottom right there. Like that, like that. I definitely like that. And you see how it's popping because it's with the blue, like I was explaining in the front. You got your heated, no, your, your heated mirrors with your lane assist on it. Looks good. They got the blinker in the back. I like they went with the gloss black instead of the little flat black like that. They, I'd rather them go with the gloss. That looks real, real, real freaky diggy good. You got your nice little uh, fuel cap right here. Press in on it. Bam, right there. Looking good. Shut it on up. This color is super nice too. The color is, well, I don't know, what, what color is this? I'll tell y'all what the color is later. I'll figure it out. Same little setup in the back that is in the front. You got the 285 tires with the 45 sidewall, 22 inch wheel. Wheel look good. Only thing what we don't like on this wheel, they always giving you these bogus chrome lug nuts. Come on, man. They could have color matched the lug nuts with that. They could have went blue. They could have went black. Anything but the chrome, man. Anything but the chrome. I definitely like the little black. See how they got the little black Dodge Ram? Why, why would you not make the uh, lug nuts look good? But, you know, that's always really my gripe with most of these cars. They never want to give you a cool lug nut. They always giving you the bogus chrome lug nut. I know they probably cost extra. You get some black ones. I would have went ahead and got the black ones. Whoever ordered this truck, you should have ordered the black ones. It would look cooler to me. Work our way to the last little piece of the side and that's gonna be the lights lights look definitely look good got the little ram right there nice little light right there looking that that's definitely looking real good man definitely looking real good let's work our way to look the at that back. big back big booty action big back big thick thing right here got the dual exhaust one two that means dual for those who don't know what i'm talking about when i say dual exhaust and let's look at the dual exhaust real quick it's like a 
it's not chrome it's like a like i said i don't know what color it is but it definitely ain't chrome as you can see it's definitely not a chrome it looks good though it definitely looks good it's probably about a three inch four inch tip probably i'm gonna go with four inch tip i like a little four inch tip i like the bump the back bumper because you got the little ridge right there so when you step on it you don't slip when it's cold outside the icy that's real nice got your little tow package set up right there everything you know hook up to the electrical for your trailer right there you got your nice little big boy ram right there letting it signify you got that big boy ram got your camera right here pull on that let's see let it on down bam look nice bed liner in this bad boy too look at that bed liner that look goody woody putty goody hoody and you got the nice little uh, uh tunnel cover on it nice little tunnel cover i think that's what it's called tunnel cover well, bed not bed cover got the bed cover i don't know what it's called man you know i don't know nothing about no trucks you know i don't know nothing about no trucks i just review them baby but i'm definitely liking it. like i said it's limited right there four by four see i like how the, they got the black going right there you know and also i like it that it's not see this is where it, it needed to be oh ashy black like an ashy flat black instead of a gloss black because you can really see it looks good going with it i think this this is matter of fact this is patriot blue this has got to be patriot blue on this this is definitely patriot blue let's work our way to the inside so since we already did the back the thickness let's work our way to the inside yeah, working our way to the inside i think these are they, these are electric running boards let's see yeah it's got the electric running board i didn't even know it had that that's nice nice electric running board so we're gonna have a harbin cardon sound system and it's nice, the little speaker covers, they like chrome. If you rub your hands too hard on this, you actually could cut yourself, to tell you the truth. I probably ain't too kid-friendly right there, because if you press your hand up here real hard, you probably could cut yourself. You got the nice little chrome handle right there. It's not really chrome, but it feels, it's probably, it's plastic, but it look like it's chrome. Nice extra little cool little stitching, stitching on it with the white stitching. They could have just went with the same stitching. They ain't had to put the white, if you ask me. I don't even know what this is, but it's like a Richie, but it look cool though, it look cool. Definitely look cool. You got your cup holders right there. You can put whatever you want to put right there. Look at those floor mats. Now, you can't tell me these floor mats ain't nice. Limited. says limited on there. These are some of the nicest floor mats I done, I done seen on the truck, to tell you the truth. These are super nice. These are like a little compartment right here. You open it up and you put the store stuff right in there. Let's see if we can open it up. Damn. See how I open it up? Store a little stuff like put ice or something in there. You know, whatever you want to put in it sit on in here let's get in here and see how much space we working with plenty of space plenty of knee room plenty of space we got plenty of space in this bad boy right here look what we working with it looks so nice back here too this is a, definitely a spacious truck for it just to be a 1500 this bad boy is super spacious can't nobody complain they ain't got no elbow room i ain't got no head room you got plenty of room so ain't no need to be complaining and it's hot out here it's hot out here so i know the ac works super good on this bad boy but look how nice it is in here man look at the stitching the, uh how they paid attention to detail and add little designs this is a limited to make you feel like you got something different than everybody else these are heated and ventilated seats you know what i'm saying that means it can get hot and cold look at that there you go there goes your heated and ventilated setup then you got your usb port as well as your new uh c port you got your uh, 15 volt ac which is gonna be just your 15 volt hookup. Like if you want to hook something up back here, that thing hard to open, Lord Jesus. You gotta fight to open it. Got your vents right there. Got your cup holders right there. Got your little folder holders right there. Keep what you wanna keep back there. You can keep nudie magazines. You can keep Maxim magazines. You can keep car magazines. You can keep muscle magazines. Whatever you wanna keep in there, you can keep in there, man. You know I mean? But it look real good. And you got plenty of view. You can see the uh, nice little, um, big boy screen right there that's a 12 inch screen looking real real cool i mean it's still it's it came out like 2021 i believe this screen came out like 2021 if i'm not mistaken but it's still one of the coolest screens out there it's still one of the cool it's still probably the best screen in the truck out there right now i know the uh chevy got a new screen and everything in there but it still ain't better than this one i mean it's just this 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 just just got this just got this truck has the best interior let's work our way to the, in the front, front. Ooh, got that Harman Kardon card again, like I said. The chrome little thing, another speaker right there. I think it's like probably about a 10-speaker system. But like I said, it's all, all of it sets up pretty much the same on any kind of truck. You're going to have your window control, your door control, your locks and all that, everything. This, this one also got your memory uh, seats. Remember your seats is. Same little setup in the back as it, it is in the front. But we just going to be in the uh, driver's seat right now. Look at this. Look at the steering wheel. You can't tell me this ain't a cool steering wheel. This is definitely very cool. It's kind of giving you a flat bottom look, but it's really not flat bottom. But you can get, you can mistake and think it was flat bottom. 
it's got like a, like a little uh, dark colored wood grain type of setup right there. You got your nice little, oh, this is the digital dash. You got a digital dash. I got the keys on me, but you know what I'm trying to say. As well as that big boy screen I was talking about in the back. It's got everything. You got your little uh, gear shifter. Pop, 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 pop. Park review. I said review. Reverse neutral drive. Four wheel drive controls right there. This right here is if you want to, you know how when you go to the stoplight and you uh, stop and the, the, the car turns off. That's what that is. I would turn that off every time. My Jeep got that. I turn that off. Ain't nobody got time for that. Then you got your little USB ports right there. There goes your wireless charger for your phone. You just sit your phone right there and it should charge it up. So they say, cup holders right there. Look how cool that is. Like I said, it got a little wood grainish type of little feel right there. You got your nice little hand rest that says limited. Let make you feel a little special, dashel, you know what I mean? All that room right there. And it's got some kind of uh, ruler back here on here. I don't know what this ruler signifies, but it got it in case if you ever need it. Hit it again. There go another little compartment right there. So all in all, it's looking real good. Real, real, real nice. You got your little RAM right there. It says limited right there. Passenger, he really ain't got much, but he gonna have a nice little sound system. And as you can say, this right here is, you know, this is neutral. So he can control the screen. You can control the screen. Y'all both can see it evenly instead of it being turned towards me or turned towards him or her. I, yeah, I see it. There. You just see how I threw that her in there? Yeah, yeah. Or him or her, you know. And uh, he's got the little uh, camera. This turns to a camera as well as re regular rear view mirror. You got all that. All your little SOS controls, garage controls right there. Got your vanity right there. And uh, that's pretty much the logistics. You got a, definitely got a uh, moon roof right there. For those who think it's not, you can see that it's a moon roof. You just can't see it. When you hit the button, it will open up. This is definitely nice. It's got the speakers back there. I did not notice those speakers up there. So it's probably got a nice sound system in here. But that's definitely a nice, very, very, very lovely. Actually, this is actually a pretty luxurious truck. You know, I don't even think I would want to get it muddy or dirty like that. It couldn't be my work truck. I couldn't. I just say how much it cost me while we talking about it. But this definitely couldn't be my work truck. Let's go to see how Check much it the cost. You know, your boy T Light like to be transparent when I'm doing these car reviews. As you can see, like I said, it's a Ram 1500 Limited Crew cab, four by four. It's gonna be the E Torque. They want eighty-two thousand dollars for it. Pretty much gonna end up paying about eighty-seven after taxes and title and all that. Standard equipment, and all that. But it's the extras they got on this bad boy. They got the customer preferred package twenty-seven M. I don't know what that means, but this is a night edition. So this is a Ram. This is a night edition. So you get all those colors. You got the Harman Kardon sound system. 22 inch wheels the black headlight bezels all season tires i'm just naming a few things for y'all got the 5.7 liter v8 in it i'm gonna let y'all see that in a second dual panel panoramic rip panoramic pan i can't say it you know the sunroof you got the uh tank trailer brake controls yeah like i said man it's definitely like I said, it's definitely a Patriot color blue. As you can see, it is Patriot color blue. For those who want to know what color that is, like I said, it's Patriot color. This bad boy is $82,000. That's definitely very expensive for just a 5.7 V8, but it's definitely a fair deal. They're not, you know what I'm saying? You can get a base one for 68,000, but this one with all the extra amenities, I mean, it's like 20 something, almost, let's just say about twelve dollars to uh, $12,000 more in extras, but you gotta pay if you want super nice stuff. And this is definitely a fair deal. You can't say it's not a fair deal. It's definitely a fair deal. $82,000 for all the stuff on this is definitely a fair deal. So let me know what you think, but uh, let's pop the hood and see what's under the hood before we end this car review. Here go that big boy 5.7. You really can't see it because they got all that plastic covering on it. But this is also a 5.7 It's also e-torque. So it's an electric motor in there somewhere too. I believe this is the e-torque right here. This is the e-torque motor right here. So that's where the e-torque comes in right there. You got your 570 and you got an e-torque sitting on the top of that. You also got the nice little air box right there. That goes your battery right there and all that. That's pretty much everything that's in here. I know you would have thought it would be congested in here, but it's really a lot of space for extra stuff you could put in here, I guess, that you a mechanic. I don't know, you tell me, but it's definitely nice looking inside here it's definitely it's nicer than not what i thought it would i thought it would be a lot more cluttered in here but it's definitely not they got more than enough space you can put a big boy motor in here supercharged you know what i'm talking about yes sir yeah there goes the e-torque 
a nice little ram right there. They go where you put your wooden shield wiper fluid right there. There goes your, uh, you know what, you know what this is. What are, what am I, what, are, what am I, uh, uh, your coolant, your coolant right there. This is gonna be your coolant right there. Man, I couldn't figure out what I was talking. I couldn't figure it. I couldn't figure it out for a second, man. My bad. But uh, yeah, that's it. There goes. That's it. I would definitely put all the specs for this truck in. The, in the uh, description i would definitely put it in where you can get this particular truck if you want this particular uh 1500 e-torque this is a limited the crew cab it's definitely nice man let me know what you think make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you tell a friend about me hopefully you like this truck review slash car review whatever you want to call it but uh let me know what you think and uh this video is basically done for people that are looking to buy one of these trucks i figured i'd show you just in case you couldn't get to the lot and see what it looks like in person and sit in it i definitely hopefully i helped you out but it's definitely a beautiful truck but with that being said it's your boy t light man i'm gonna slide on up out of here shout out to the werewolf gang y'all be safe y'all stay away from negative people live your life the best way you can and if you can't afford it you just can't afford it but when you can't afford it get it and live your life it's your boy t light i'm gone Bye. I'm a statue now for being lonely Be the fan, that's what they call